Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and I wanted to give you a look at a fun little game that I found called Upset the Fruit Basket. It's a kind of builds on some previous games. It's kind of similar to uh, Tetris and Bejeweled in certain ways, but it also brings something uh, of its own to the game. You'll see it's pretty basic and it has both single player and two player modes. We'll get to the two player mode in a minute, but I wanted to get through the basic idea of it in single player first. There's either timed modes that you can go between one and ten minutes, or there's an unlimited mode. And you choose your character between all of these different little fruits. I'm not really sure what these are. A pineapple, a pear, an orange, a grape, a blueberry, and an apple, possibly. I'm not really sure. It won't be a pear. So basically you have all of these different fruits coming up from the bottom. And of course you want to connect all three in order to uh, get them to go away. Now unlike things like Bejeweled, you can't go up and down. You can only go left or right. So you really, you're kind of looking horizontally to try to find uh, link ups, usually vertically. But you can slide them over as many times as you want. So if you want this this purple guy here to move over, you can go over one. Or if you want this blue guy to move all the way over, you can do that as well. So you end up having to scan the entire screen as it's coming up because you want to plan your moves ahead of time so you can get them uh, moving over all the way across rather than looking immediately over like in something uh, like Bejeweled or Tetris where you're just worrying about one piece at a time. So I think the way that I put it was it's deceptively tricky. You don't think of it as being tricky. Oh yeah, you just link up three like you do in every other game. But here it's a little tougher because you're dealing with multiple different situations and you have things like this where you can pull them off to the side to drop to link up three that are kind of hard to see normally. But overall it's a really fun game and it's either free or $1.99 to get rid of the ads. You get full features either way. So it's really um, it's really a quick fun time waster that let's see here. No, danger, danger, danger. There we go. So once you do hit the top, like this is going to show, then you're game over and you get your max score and your combos and um, total lines cleared and things like that. So if we go back to the main menu really quick and go into uh, two player, you can have both people choose a character and then you can play side by side. So you have the blueberry guy over here and whatever that is, an orange over here. And then it's the same thing that you're looking at a smaller version of it. It's probably a little bit better uh, on a tablet, but you could surely manage two people side by side if you put the phone flat on the table. Um, and if you'd prefer, you can actually choose wh wh which way you want the two players to work. So this is left and left, so they're both on the left side of the screen. You can also select up and down, where you'd be head to head, one um, one person facing this way and one facing this way. And then you can also do left, right. You have one person with the bottom over here and one person with the bottom over here. I'll just show you um, up, down, because I think that that would be best on a big um, 16 by nine tablet or something set, set down on the table. So this way, you can be head to head on a big tablet or something and you would both get um, a lot of screen to work with uh, this way. And it's really cool. Um, not all the games have a two-player mode, but even the ones that are really set up well for a two-player mode. Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't have two or more players playing a game like this. So That is uh, a quick look at Upset the Fruit Basket, a fun little game in the Play Store for uh, just a dollar to unlock the ads. Thanks guys.